Hi everyone. Uh, today we continue with the SQL Server and uh, we do with procedure constraint trigger. Uh, so firstly, in the previous lesson, we have some of the uh, table as here we have employee, we have order detail, and uh, here we want to create a new table for these uh, entities. Uh, so the first entity here we have employee, we have order and uh, uh, we can check for the table and we create the uh, employees with employee id uh, full name date of birth note uh, so the employee id is integer with uh, identity and uh, it is a primary key so let's use n varchar for uh, vietnamese for chinese and utf8 uh, so secondly, we uh, also have the auto details. The auto detail has uh, auto detail ID and uh, uh, product ID and quantity. So run this and then we uh, continue with the product and uh, category. The product one, uh, the, the product is uh, from one category or the relation is uh, one category and many products. So you can drop and create a table for set the foreign key uh, constraint between the category and the product. And uh, other way you can uh, enter table. So firstly, you can uh, set inside a product uh, definition. So in the product definition, you can add the constraint with the constraint name. The constraint name here is F key of or foreign key. The foreign key is from the product to the uh, category so the product has a category id uh, uh, it is retrieved from the uh, category id in uh, cat in category table so we run this and secondly you can uh, check for the products so the product here uh, also have the category id reference to the category ID in uh, categories table so uh, if you insert the category id 4 the 4 here is exists in the category table so uh, after inserting uh, this will be successful okay so all one row affected and you can check for the category by select your own from category where category id is equal to 4 and we have one yes so we have one category with the id is four okay and so what about the category six the six does not exist in category table so if you insert this product so it will violate the constraint because uh, this uh, category must be exist in the category table uh, so you can check for the category where the category ID is equal to uh, 6 okay and uh, it has no just uh, no uh, uh, no record for categories and uh, uh, now you can uh, modify a little bit so the category here 6 uh, does not exist uh, the second way you can uh, drop a constraint by uh, under table drop constraint to remove the the old constraint and then uh, create a new constraint using the add constraint uh, command to add a new constraint name foreign key category products and the foreign key uh, uh, is from uh, uh, category ID and reference to the category in uh, products so execute yes uh, and uh, you can also define the category for uh, any other uh, one to many relationship uh, so test for uh, the you know, constraint you can insert so this is violate because of six uh, the category 6 is uh, does not exist so it is uh, uh, so so it has error okay 
Uh, so what about uh, this? Uh, you can uh, also have another way to add a constraint. So this is a check constraint. The check constraint will uh, uh, validate the input uh, um, record, the input record or uh, check uh, for the price, uh, the value of price. Uh, it must be uh, less than 2000 and uh, must be uh, positive. Okay, so uh, you can test a constraint by inserting a violet constraint like, uh, for example, you can insert a price, a, a price for about uh, uh, bigger than 2000 and the price here violet the check product constraint. Okay, so if you uh, add a, a violated constraint, you can uh, see the error. Uh, below uh, by pressing run so after running you can see the violation of uh, the constraint so the, the check constraint now here is not uh, okay uh, but uh, when you set a constraint that uh, okay okay because it is uh, uh, bigger than zero and uh, uh, less than 2000 so now we can have a constraint unique name. The unique name means that you uh, only have one specific name for each product. So uh, you can also add the unique uh, constraint for uh, many uh, products so you can uh, protect it from uh, to user from adding more uh, more duplicated const uh, value for products. So the product name here is must be uh, not duplicate, okay. Uh, and for testing this, you uh, can execute firstly, and then you uh, check by testing. By testing, you uh, insert a uh, uh, so select uh, select own from product, and you we have a two. We, so uh, what about uh yes so firstly we add beer 555 okay so it is okay but now uh, when you press again and you press again so it violates the constraint because uh, it is duplicates the name beer 555 so it is uh, very good to check for the duplicate by using this uh, check constraint yes so what about the date time value uh, the date time value uh, show you the time to insert the product. So uh, if you uh, left blank, it will uh, add the current date. Yes. So for example, you in, in, uh, insert the employee. So um, uh, this is a date time format. The date time format here. Okay. Year, 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 and month, month, and date, date. Uh, so you select start from employee. You can see that we have the date time like here. So we have the note, the note. Uh, okay. Uh, so what about the constraint date uh, default date? Uh, the default date means that the order date in this case will get the current date if uh, it is noon. Okay. So. Uh, for testing this, you can insert a blank or a blank order date, and this date will be converted to the current date. To the current date, so uh, execute this constraint to create a constraint. Yes, and you test for constraint by uh, inserting a new record of order, new order record by insert into order. Uh, so this is a value, customer ID, and employee ID, and shipper ID. Okay, so uh, it is for testing constraint. So select so start uh, own from uh, products, so you can see that the new, uh, the the order date will be uh, added a value. Uh, so uh, because it is known, you uh, you you do not uh, provide. Uh, the date. 
So what about the trigger? The trigger is a function we got called after insert, update, delete, and query. Uh, so th in this example, we call this uh, uh, trigger uh, after uh, after calling update uh, a new product. Uh, so you can define a variable like uh, here by using declare. Declare to define a variable. So the variable price when we be the first prime which has a value uh, is uh, with a value is negative so uh, with the negative value you uh, it, it will be uh, run back okay so if uh, a user insert a price which has a negative value it will be run back okay so uh, before run back, it uh, raised an error with the severity level is from 11 to 20 and the error state from uh, 0 to uh, 255 depending on your uh, state. So here, the must, um, it will, uh, you can remove this line and uh, redone. Okay, so we have the, the trigger. So by using this trigger, you can test the trigger by um, in the select star from products, okay, and uh, then you can uh, add a, a value. You can uh, insert a new product with a value uh, with a negative value, like here, to, to try uh, minus two point two dollar. Uh, so after pressing run you can see that the transaction here is uh, uh, okay cannot update negative price yes so it is an error raised to uh, when you press the the, the, uh, uh, the update to, to update the products okay uh, then what about uh, how to add a new field or add a new um, property to a table for for example you can uh, select stuff from uh, category in this case we want to add a count a count uh, count is uh, a field a new field which has integer uh, it is a number of um, product in this category so you select from a category the value is null uh, if you want to set from noon to uh, to zero you can update uh, update category so and change the value to zero where and the count is noon if the count is noon then uh, it will be converted to zero so after running this you have num uh, five row affected and uh, here the count is zero okay uh, so depending on your value in the uh, a specific uh, table you can add and uh, to write a new trigger to uh, when you update uh, when you insert a new product to this uh, uh, table you can uh, uh, firstly we declare the variable uh, category ID as integer and uh, begin and end to uh, your content of a trigger so firstly uh, get the uh, category ID from the inserted uh, products you can uh, get the category from the inserted product and uh, and uh, you uh, can uh, call the update update category and set uh, the count to increase one uh, to, to increase uh, one where the category uh, with which the category uh, inserted okay so uh, if you uh, uh, insert a new product you can uh, update the count of the category uh, to increase by one it means uh, it will uh, recreate the uh, will recreate uh, the value of count uh, field in uh, uh, the product table okay and run so comma complete got successfully uh, so how to test this trigger how to test this trigger by testing this trigger you insert a new uh, products 
uh, with the value I iPhone XS Plus and uh, uh, with uh, some of the value here. And now you select your uh, own from uh, category, you can see that okay or oh, no because uh, so here you can uh, increase the electronics okay uh, so here the category id here must be five the category idea here is but it must be five okay then uh, after use the five yes and uh, comment out and run okay so we can select uh, own from category you can see that it does uh, the car has been increased by one the car uh, view has been increased by one uh, and uh, select the uh, own from product you can see we have a new iphone s at plus okay so it is a way to uh, mm, use trigger with dependence uh, on table or uh, entities so after deleting a uh, Cattle uh, products, yeah, it will be decreased, and you do the same as with the insert. But in this case, you remember that the deleted here is uh, the product deleted product, and uh, you decrease uh, with the condition of count uh, must be uh, bigger than zero because if the count is zero, it uh, does not change. Yes. Uh, so uh, it is uh, another way to uh, set some dependent um, uh, table for some of the case in the in, uh, to to delete a uh, record in the products. So select start from products. So we have here, okay. Uh, iPhone XS, and uh, after deleting this. Uh, the category must be uh, the count in, in the category must be decreased. Okay, so in this case, in this case, uh, the electronics here is zero. Uh, oh no, one. The electronic category has one products, and if you want to delete, you delete the product where the product ID is eight and run. Okay, so now in this case, the count. Uh, is decreased to from uh, zero and decrease one to and it uh, is zero okay uh, so what about the procedure and the procedure is a function uh, so you can define a, a function like here a uh, third product and uh, the function has uh, uh, the input parameter for the function is name contain or the text contain and uh, it is the input parameter for the function or the procedure uh, search product okay and uh, uh, so let's start from uh, um, product in like here and you uh, concatenate the string to those uh, percent uh, and percent uh, the starting percent is any percent to uh, select start from product where the product name contain the name contain okay and after running this to uh, to the test this procedure you can call on the uh, procedure by using execute the execute command green uh, execute uh, the procedure name with n and here is input parameter with uh, unicode and from uh, is it used for unicode and uh, in this case you can uh, uh, select some of the product to uh, we contain the category uh, contains the name okay so it is the end of my lesson today and thank you so much for watching